Welcome back everyone, I hope you're doing fantastic on this wonderful day. I thought I'd get a quick video in before I have to get off to work. I was supposed to do this yesterday but I wasn't feeling too great so I basically just slept all day. Here we have an article and I, I'm going to say right off the bat I completely agree with everything Johnny Depp says. Now some of you may not have seen because you may be new but I've done an extensive, extensive playlist on what's been happening with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard going into each individual thing that's been claimed and basically dissecting it as much as I possibly can with the information that we have available basically what happened is Amber Heard abused Johnny Depp claimed that Johnny Depp abused her he lost work over it she got to decide she got to cry victim and now that everything is actually coming out you have people basically just taking Amber Heard's side for it and still, still to this day, berating Johnny Depp over it and he's come out and made this statement and as I said at the beginning, I completely agree with it 100%. No one is safe after Johnny Depp slams cancel culture. The actor said cancel culture as a movement is so far out of hand now that I can promise you that no one is safe, not one of you. Not one out that door. No one is safe as long as someone is willing to say one sentence. And he's right. All it takes is for someone who doesn't like you to say one bad sentence about you. And for that sentence to be taken as gospel and your life is ruined. I mean take Johnny Depp as example. He has pictures of him with his fingertip missing. Because Amber heard through a basically a glass jar at him and it sliced his finger yet the only quote unquote evidence we have for Amber Heard's claims is a bruise on her face that kept moving from picture to picture yeah it's utterly ridiculous actor Johnny Depp warned against cancel culture Wednesday ahead of receiving the honorary dystonia award at this year's San Sebastian Film Festival something that was basically decried by feminists as well but I will give it to San Sebastian for or the film festival for sticking to their guns because that's what that came out and said that he hasn't been he hasn't been indicted he hasn't been uh, charged he hasn't been arrested for anything that Amber Heard has claimed he has done and that's what I'd like to point out, that if he was such a danger to women and such a monster that he did what he did to Amber Heard, why hasn't anyone arrested him? They haven't, because it's all bunk, yet the only one that has actually been arrested out of those two for domestic violence is Amber Heard. Pretty ironic if you ask me. According to Deadline, Depp said no one is safe from cancel culture as, and he calls for a movement to stand up against it. And people should. People should stand up against cancel culture because it's a cancer. It's Think about how you can have your life ruined for lies. And it goes into what I've actually been talking about in my falsely, false accusations playlist as well. People have their lives ruined, sometimes even taken from them, because someone decided they want to lie. It could be seen as an event in history that lasted for however long it lasted. This cancel culture, this instant rush to judgement based on what essentially amounts to, pol sorry, to polluted air, Depp said after being asked about his exile from Hollywood as a result of abuse allegations from his former wife Amber Heard. It's so far out of hand now that I can promise you that no one is safe. Not one of you. No one out that door. No one is safe, Depp continued. It takes one sentence and there's no more ground. The carpet has been pulled. It's not like, uh, sorry, it's not just me that this has happened to. It's happened to a lot of people. Now, I will stop and pause there. There are some people claiming that he deserves what's happening to him because he basically once made a John, uh, a Depp about Donald Trump. Now, I guess that some of you may be Trump supporters. I myself am a Trump supporter. I believe he did good in American politics. But just because someone made a joke 
does not mean they deserve what happens to them. They do not deserve to be abused by their spouse, lied about, have their life ruined, and basically what Johnny Depp has been through. Just because they disagree with your politics, I'd say the same about someone, or I'd say the same about Biden, even though I don't like the guy. Just because you make a joke does not mean you deserve what's happened to you. And I know there are some people out there who will disagree with that. But it's, it is what it is. That is how we have to offer these things. Just because someone you like makes a joke does not, be, does not think does not mean they deserve to be cancelled. Or, if, you're, if you claim to be a proponent of anti-council culture, you do not get to say someone deserves to be cancelled because they make a, made a joke that you disliked. You're either anti-council culture, or you're not. It's that simple. It's the same with uh, pro... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Pro, oh, uh, presumption of innocence. Just because someone you dislike does, does uh, is claimed to have done something, does not mean they actually did it, and does not mean you get to say that. Oh yeah, they did it. You can may think they did it, and that's entirely up to you. But presumption of innocence it is all that matters. If, it, if you cannot presume that by the person you dislike, if you cannot offer them due process, then you do not favour due process for anyone. It's, it's just how it is. This type of thing has happened to w women, men. Sadly, at a certain point, they begin to think it's normal, or that it's them when it's not. Depp referenced a high-profile libel case against US, uh, UK newspaper The Sun, which called him a wife-beater, a lawsuit which he lost last year. A lawsuit in which has come to light that Amber Heard actually took him, obviously the judge, out to lunch before he made his decision. As a d judge who also waved, against, uh, waved away all evidence that Johnny Depp, including testimony from cops who found that Johnny Depp had done nothing who wore body cameras to the, to the uh, scene of said quote-unquote crime, who found no evidence of anything that had happened that Amber Heard had claimed had happened. No evidence of injuries, no evidence of stuff that had been cleaned up, no evidence of smash glass anywhere. Literally no evidence of anything, and it shows on the body cam footage as well. It doesn't matter if her judgement per se has taken some artistic licence, when there's an injustice, whether it's against you, or someone you love, or someone you believe in, stand up, don't sit down, because they need you. And that's right, it does, and I'll go one step further, or someone you do not like, stand up, because if you cannot offer these rights and these, basically these causes to people you do, do not like, then you do not believe in those causes. If you cannot offer a hand and an olive branch to those you do not like, then you do not deserve to call you, to call yourself basically for this sort of thing. As a result of the cancel culture mob coming off the debt, Warner Brothers dropped him from the Fantastic Beast franchise. Meanwhile, Depp also has a $50 million defamation lawsuit against ex Amber Heard, and Heard is pursuing a $100 million counterclaim and is scheduled to go to trial next year. She will lose that because nothing she he has said about her has been proven to be untrue, whereas everything that she has said about him has. During the press conference at the festival, Des Depp also slammed Hollywood. Hollywood is certainly not what it was, Depp said. The studio system, the grudge matches, the pandemonium and chaos of cinematic releases to streaming is a case of no matter what, I'm going to get mine. That's where these people are coming from. They realise they're just as disposable as I am, some more so, he continued. Large corporations take control of these things, as some who take part in the, cine uh, sorry, the creation of cinema, how much more formula do we need from the likes of studios? How much more condensation do we need as audiences? I think that Hollywood has grotesquely underestimated the audience, and the fact that Johnny Depp shows this, or the fact that people are standing up for Johnny Depp shows this 
they're basically going after James Wan, the director of, Am uh, of Aquaman and Aquaman 2, because he will not get rid of Amber Heard. Now, I'm not saying they sh he should, sorry, she should be cancelled, but she should face the same consequences that he faced if because he lost his work and he lost his most favourite roles because he was claimed to have been an abuser but it turns out he wasn't and that she was the abuser well if losing roles is in the line for abusers then surely she should face the same consequences that Johnny faced equality after all Finally, Depp also noted he was worried about his attendance at the festival, noting he didn't want to offend anyone. He went on to praise the event director, John, uh, Jose Luis Rebardinos, I don't know, I, I probably butchered that, but I do apologise, and the Mayor of San Sebastian for their undying support and for not buying what has been, for far too long, some notion of me that doesn't exist. I haven't done anything, I just make Depp. I just make movies, Depp concluded. And he's right. People do need to stand up against cancel culture. I know that many of you already do stand up against it. But it needs people like Johnny Depp, famous people, to come out against it. And of course you have, obviously, lefty newspapers saying, well, he decries cancel culture, yet he received a Lifetime Achievement Award. And that's the point. He's He had that basically contested every step of the way by feminists who said it was an affront to victims everywhere it doesn't matter whether you think Amber Heard, Amber Heard was the victim in this the fact that she also abused I know she he never abused her but let's take it at face value and that it was give and take the fact that she is a victim also means that he is a victim and that you're basically coming out and decrying victims when you should be standing up for them but as I said in my last, vi last video domestic violence charities and domestic violence policies do not favour men they favour women and it doesn't matter how much we try to change it that will always be the case just as long as men are treated in this way we need to change that and we need to change the way we think about victims as a whole you type into Google domestic violence and go to images and you will almost certainly, yeah, I'll even do it. Yeah, domestic abuse, you go to images and the moment you click onto it, it's men abusing women. Men abusing women. And the, when, even it says here, one in four women and one in nine men. Yet, everything offers safety to women and nothing to men. Yeah, what men do to women. It's not what men do to women. It's what people do to people. But we're not going to get over the fact that uh, victims can be anyone when even, I know they're biased, but Google shows just what it happens to women. It's disgusting. Anyway, let me know what you think about his comments in the comment section down below. I'll include a link to this article so you can go read it for yourself without my boring old commentary. And I'll also link below my minds i'm on there a lot lately so go and go and uh give me a follow i'm 10 away from hitting 100 followers so go follow me and i will see you all in the next video bye for now